What's up, peeps? How you guys doing? Um, yeah, today I want to talk about prestige. Um, prestige is a bad thing. Yeah, yeah, prestige is a terrible thing. If you're looking into ranking up a champion and you have prestige as one of the top items of why you want to rank that champion up, man, I feel bad for you. So for those of you who don't know, uh, right now you see my top champions here and on, the, on their profile there's a number. That is called PI or power index. That's not prestige. Behind that somewhere is an imaginary number called prestige. Uh, in, for Blade, for example, his prestige as a SIG 200 is somewhere around 10,400, 10,300, something like that. And um, yeah, it's very different than PI. Uh, prestige is based off for your profile your top five champions average prestige number so my prestige is roughly somewhere between 10,200 and 10,400 I don't check it very much because I am in a more of a laid-back alliance and uh, I think most people are in uh, probably that same scenario whether you're map four five or six you're probably more of a laid-back alliance than maybe even you think. Um, so, uh, the reason why people rank up for prestige is because they are fighting for like the top one, number one spot, one percent. They want to get you know the top ten in alliance quest rewards, rank rewards, and um, and that's it. And so they are willing to spend crazy, crazy resources. Like imagine. This is, uh, this is Doc Ock, and I have him at rank 4 because he's really dope. Now imagine if this was Phoenix or Thor Ragnarok, and I was about to hit that rank up button for half a million gold plus and use my, uh, two, my two tier 5 basics on someone like Phoenix because it would just give me just a little bit more prestige. Um, I would hope that my brother would reach out and smack me or even the champion or all my top five champs would just hit me with a row of five slaps because um, man for me that takes away from some of the fun in this game um, and honestly my advice if you are going to rank someone up rank it up because you love that champion um, my top five champs are probably are not my most uh, prestigious champions, prestige value champions uh, that I have as a rank 5. I could put all my signature stones into Sunspot and into Symbiote Supreme and change around my top 5 champs and have a higher prestige. I'm not going to do that. Their signature ability doesn't call for it and um, I'm not competing for the number 1% uh, of the world. You know what I mean? And um, I see a lot of people who aren't at that level who are looking at their champs uh, and thinking that, okay, I'm gonna rank up my Phoenix to 565, you know, just like I see other YouTubers and, and other people in the community. And man, it's not worth it. Rank up who you like. That is an imaginary number. The other issue I see is that every time a new champion is introduced, well, they're introduced with a higher PI, and the older champion ha all have lower PIs. Um, so. Um, so yeah, so every time a new champion is introduced into Arena, God damn it. Every time a new champion is introduced in Arena that has high PI, those Arena scores go way up. They are crazily inflated. That's why we just saw Silver Surfer go for like almost 90 million. That's a new record. So, um, definitely, definitely, rank up who you want. Uh, stay away from the prestige game. Unfortunately, if you like a brand new champion who maybe is great, maybe isn't great as far as their function in the game, but has a crazy high PI, then I'm sorry. Uh, they're going to have crazy high arena scores because the high-end community are trying to have the highest-end prestige, and it's about to be totally blown through the window with the... Uh, Greater Gifting Crystals, their ranked rewards, giving out Tier 5 Class Catalysts, and, um, yeah, and 
6.4 is going to be released, so people are going to 100% act 6 and, and, and have rank 3, 6 stars everywhere, but it's going to be a small percentage of the community. You know, those who can afford to, to, to go and be a part of the Greater Gifting Crystal and the Gifting 2019 Fiesta, and those who can afford to get through all of Act, Act 6, do the Legends run, do all that stuff. Um, so it's about to be totally changed up anyways. So heading into 2020, please, please, please rank up who you want because you like them. I ranked up Colossus to, to, to rank 5 because I like him. And um, and that's it. So, all right, guys, that's my advice. That is my rant. Hope you guys have a safe and happy holiday. Take care.